Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 9 of Spy Classroom. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> you but I honestly thought that they would have her wear pants be like a quote unquote female butler <laughs> Well, of course, Lily, a daughter Darius, my other two. Of course, so the rest of you. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, yes, baby.
Good. It's like, what, cabbage and meat? What? I feel like Lily about to fuck this up. Hmm? Yeah. This is a man that cooks. <sighs> Don't drink that! Don't drink that! Sparkly AM. So let's see what the guy looks like. Skeptical of Olivia? Or is it just me? Is anybody else skeptical about her too? Gotta get the gun, of course.
Really? Can we beat the crap out of him, please? Unfortunately, yes. Mm. Of course, it's always someone selling someone out. Mm. Because it was you. And you're talking to her right now.
just like yours. Right? But, you know... Either they're gonna go really, really good or really, really bad. Good.
Let me know. So that's why he was like, oh, you're white, redhead, silver for Lily. Nothing. Okay, here's my thing. Was that actually Teach? Or was that Greta as Teach? Because come on now. I mean, but yeah, he wanted to stay close towards the girls regardless. I get that. But, oh no, I'm a little skeptical. That Just as much as I'm skeptical about Olivia, because she seems interesting, but she could be working with courts. So... Who knows? Cause she seems fairly interesting, but at the same time, I'm looking at her and I'm like, let's be a little obvious, a little honest too. You the besides, you know, your <laughs> your boss, you know, a brand new character that we just met in this episode that we know nothing about. Yes, you're a maid, and you're one of many that live here with your boss, but still, we don't know any that much about you, boo-boo. You could be the other bad guy. You could be the traitor. So they were surely watching your boss and then waiting for that one slip-up that what Corp screws over, you could take the lead and possibly kill your boss. Yes, ma'am. I mean, you know, I could be overthinking it, possibly. I mean, because... Think about it. Like when she screamed, I mean, it could she could have been acting at that point too, pretending to be scared. But I mean, yes, when a gun when a gun goes off, like we're all gonna be scared regard, regardless. But I feel like she's playing into it. That's all. That's the only thing I can really think. Sylvia, I think you know, I, I really expected this episode to just be part two of Greta because I mean the episode is called Daughter Dearest. And last week was focused on her, so she was going to get another episode. You kind of get that, but it's still more of a Sylvia-based episode, especially with the fact that her boss was like, oh, hey. Um, talks about the fact that, you know, her path. Excuse me. And everything else. And even though she's like, well, you know, what about this? And then what about that? So it was very interesting to know that, no that he has a connection to her because it's like, okay, I, I would have never thought that those two would have had a connection toward each, each other, that Greta was a rich girl and such. Like, th this just also still tells you how much very little we know much about these girls. And officially as of now, I think we have, what, three more weeks left with this show before it's done. Um, We get to know, like, tidbits of everything but not every little single detail but this is kind of making me wonder like of course this is based off of manga like maybe in the manga is it a little more better on the character developmentation because i get it they only get a certain amount of time to give each girl like their time to shine their time to get to development and this is that in the third and you know it's very similar how with pretty here 
and you're trying to get everyone their time to shine because I felt like, okay, um, my three pretty cures, they have not got no time, time to shine. I mean, technically, I would say, yeah, Aoi Yuki's character and then, um, freaking Hesia's voice actress because her, hers was like the first episode that we, we focused on with the girls, but my blue hair baby queen the best girl she ain't even get no episode focus on her yet and we're almost done with this dm series so um damn that's a little messed up in my opinion like <laughs> out of all the girls because really everyone else has gotten focused except her and the pink hair girl with the um eye patch so that's really weird to me like having an episode mainly focus on them and the fact is i think they're what the only two that have not gotten like a special ending there's there's gotta be someone else i'm just not thinking of it right now but i mean the episode was good now we're going into you know the mission the other mission sort of it hopefully everything goes well that you know the guy that they're currently protecting their other boss they're able to protect him he doesn't die or anything because something tells me like i said looking at olivia side eye she possibly doing something, but we ain't going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my action view towards episode 9 of Spy Classroom. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos if you want to enjoy the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 10. Bye, guys.